Hey there guys, it's Tina and I'm back and I hope you guys are all doing well and staying safe. If you're also back, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me again. But if you're new and maybe you like what you see, please consider subscribing. We have tons of fun here on this channel talking about makeup and all things beauty. And we are about to discuss, you know what it is, all right? It's the Sephora Savings Event for Spring 2023. Three. So every spring and every fall, Sephora has a sale for their beauty insiders and it is a tiered sale. So whether that's Rouge, VIB, or just a regular beauty insider, you will get a certain percentage off for the sale. And as is usual, Rouge members, which are the highest tier, they spend the most at Sephora, get a first access pass to the sale. So the sale for us starts a little bit sooner. Yes, I know, I am Rouge. So the sales event will run from April 14th, which is today when I post in this video, it will run from today, the 14th, until April 24th. So that is a full 10 days to shop the event. And we will get 20% off as Rouge. VIBs and regular beauty insiders get to shop the sale starting April 18th. So that's four days from now until the end of the sale, which again is the 24th. And I find it a little bit interesting that there's not a first access for VIBs as well. They usually get a little bit of an overlap with the Rouge members, but I guess they did away with the perks for that tear. I, I don't know what's going on with Sephora. So the sale starts the same time for the VIBs as for the regular beauty insiders, which you can actually sign up on the spot and still get to participate in the sale. VIBs will get 15% off and beauty insiders get 10% off. And these discount percentages are not that great. If you're not rouge, you're not really getting a great deal during the sale, especially if you only get 10% off. Like, what is that, all right? You can sign up for like an email newsletter on a makeup website and probably get 15% off. So I don't think the sales event at Sephora is as exciting as it used to be when we hardly saw sales for makeup. Nowadays, you can go to any of these brands' websites and get 10, 15, 20% off your first purchase and they have sales year round now. So I am going to just confess and say I am not that excited about the sale this time around. I do have a few items that I want to pick up so I have a wish list so you will see that at the end of the video but I still wanted to give my recommendations in case you were shopping the sale or you had your eye on some products and you were prepared to shop for the sale if you're just shopping the sale for sales sake you can probably get a better deal elsewhere especially when these brands have their friends and family sale and let me tell you right now some of these brands were having sales leading up to this event and they will have them throughout the year and their discount percentages are much higher than is offered during the Sephora sale. And I know, I know, I feel a little bit jaded, I'm a little bit salty, but I'm just not impressed by the Sephora sales anymore. I'm just like, whatever, I'll pick something up if I had my eye on it or if there's something newly released that I wanted to try out for my channel, fine. But I, mm, I don't really care that much about the sale, which is why this video is later than every other creator that has already put out their Sephora recommendations list because I'm just a little bit turned off and I don't see the point of this sale anymore if I'm being honest, okay? And I'm just getting that out there right now. I had to get that off my chest. All right, all right. So I do have some recommendations, okay? I am not that jaded that I'm not still in love with makeup and don't have some great things that I've tested out over the past couple of months that I can share with you. So I'm going to share those with you right now in case, again, you were intending on shopping the sale. And I recommend picking up brands that don't typically go on sale, all right? And probably try to get products that you know for sure you're excited to try out and that you're gonna use. Don't just buy things to buy them and don't buy backups, okay? There will be another sale coming up sooner rather than later and you can grab it then, all right? So with all that negativity out of the way, let's go ahead and actually dive into my recommendations. Starting out with 
primer. And here's the thing. I'm not the biggest fan of a face primer. I really don't think they're necessary in a makeup routine, but I have fallen in love with a couple lately, and I do think they help with the longevity of my makeup because I have oily skin. They help with my foundation wear time, and I just like how they feel on my skin. And I really rely on these primers to help mattify my skin, especially in my T-zone area where I get really oily. So the first one I'm going to recommend is from Milk Makeup. Now here's one of the products that kind of triggered me because this brand, Milk Makeup, was having their friends and family sale leading up to this Sephora sale, okay? And they were offering 25% off for everyone off all their products so you could have gotten this at 25% off so if you didn't shop the milk makeup sale you can pick it up now at Sephora I love this primer this is the pore eclipse mattifying primer if you have oily skin if you have an oily t-zone this is excellent okay it doesn't feel sleepy it's not really a silicone type primer it's more like a dry feeling lotion type. I don't know if that makes sense. You know how they have dry oils that are oils and they give you a glow, but they're not really oily or greasy. This to me is like a dry lotion. So it feels like a lotion, it's lightweight, it's airy, but it doesn't feel greasy at all. <laughs> That's kind of what I'm trying to describe to you. It's like a whipped lotion and it does help to mattify and even help fill in pores. So I really love that primer. I have the travel size that I travel with. I would highly recommend it. And one that I definitely fell in love with and I highly recommend, especially for oily skin, is the Dior Forever Velvet Veil. This is the matte version of the Dior primer. They have a glowy version as well that you can try out if you have dry skin. But this matte primer, this right here, mattifying, absolutely great. And it's Dior. Dior doesn't really go on sale that much. And if they do, it's like 20% off. So it's the same sale as the Sephora Rouge level. If you're not Rouge, maybe make friends with a Rouge so you can get a shareable link from them so you can shop the sale using their discount. That's what I did with one of my friends. She's like, Tina, can I get the hookup if you get to share with a friend? And I'm like, I got you, don't worry about it. So she's gonna get 20% off. This primer, hands down, one of the best I've tried. I love it and I would repurchase it again and again and again. All right, primers are kind of out of the way. Well, no, let's talk about the Sephora Boost and Lock Eyeshadow Primer. Here's the thing, the Sephora collection, so anything from the Sephora collection, will be 30% off the full duration of the sale. So from day one, anyone can shop for the Sephora collection at 30% off. So this is the time to pick up anything that you were eyeing from the Sephora collection because that's a good discount, all right? So the Boost and Lock eyeshadow primer I use for my brows, but I also use it on my lids. This is so good, okay? Now I love my Urban Decay Anti-Aging Primer Potion. Urban Decay is another brand that has 25%, 30% off sales, so you can hold off and wait for their sale. But this Sephora primer, excellent. It's really great if you want to help prevent your eyeshadows from creasing, if you want long wearing brows like I do. I have oily skin and I tell people all the time, Use an eyeshadow primer. People are like, I don't think an eyeshadow primer is necessary. Let me tell you something, okay? If you have oily lids, this is gonna save your eyeshadow life. And if you have trouble with like blending eyeshadows over your eyelids or your brow smearing throughout the day or looking greasy, use an eyeshadow primer. I'm telling you right now, like stop playing with eyeshadow primer. But this one is an excellent one. I really love it. So now we can move on to the foundation products, all right? And this one is a recent find, and it is one I highly recommend for oily skin. And someone in the comments of this video where I did a foundation wear test mentioned that they have dry skin and they still enjoy this foundation. So this is the newest foundation from Gucci. It's the Eternité de Beauté 24-hour wear breathable foundation with a luminous matte finish. This right here, okay? Gucci doesn't go on sale. Get it on sale at Sephora. This is excellent. This is so, so good, okay? It's long wearing. It's transfer resistant. Not transfer proof, 
but there's like minimal to no transfer if you just touch your skin. It is so good and it wears forever without a primer, without powder. That's how great this foundation is. I always set my foundation with powder and this one I didn't need to, okay? The finish is beautiful. It is a matte finish, but it's more of a natural matte finish. It doesn't feel dry, it doesn't feel tight, and it looks beautiful on the skin. This, I recommend getting. This one, for sure, for sure, get it. And if you wanted to get the matching primer, I'll just, this is just an honorable mention. This primer is also pretty nice, but if you really want to mattify, I say go for Dior. But if you wanted like a nice primer that feels comfortable on the skin, that almost feels hydrating, but still keeps your skin kind of matte, then go for it, all right? A face primer to me is like a primer on a wall, okay? You prime your wall so you have a layer down that kind of smooths your canvas and gives your foundation something to stick to. That's what primers do. And I do find that technology has improved so much with primers that they are pretty nice. So this one is nice and comfortable. So honorable mention, if you wanted to just grab the primer along with the foundation, it's not a necessity, but it's a nice to have, you know? And if you're gonna treat yourself, I mean, treat yourself as, as you should. Speaking of powders, all right? There's a powder foundation on the market. She's new and she's cute. Another one that triggered me because Makeup Forever had a sale for 30 to 35% off on their website. So you could have lucked out and gotten this foundation for much less than you're gonna get it at the Sephora sale. But it's fine, still 20% off, we're fine, we're fine. So this is the HD Skin Matte Velvet Foundation. Another one that I tested and love, fell in love with. It's a great powder foundation. If you've never tried a powder foundation and you're interested, or if you're someone that only wears powder foundation, this is the way to go. This is a nice foundation. It does give you great coverage. It smooths out the skin, it blurs the skin, and it's a beautiful natural matte finish. If you're not into matte foundations, probably stay away from this. The Gucci one, even though it's matte, it still looks beautiful. This is a true matte, okay? What I love about this foundation is how versatile it is. Like, you can use it on its own and it will give you full-on coverage. Or you can layer it over another foundation or maybe even just concealer if you wanted some added coverage. And you can build up the coverage. You can just go for a lightweight, like, let me dust it over my skin. Look at my blush. Oh my god, I feel so blushy today. But yeah, you can just dust it over your skin for added coverage if you want to use it that way, kind of like a finishing or setting powder for a liquid foundation or use it on its own and I really like it so definitely love this powder foundation and if there's a review that I did for any of these I will try to link it remember to link it I never do but I'll try to remember all right another powder that I absolutely recommend that I love hands down is the Kosas powder okay I don't know how many times I'm gonna have to tell you guys this is fantastic try it out it's beautiful it's one of the best powders I've ever tried, and I've tried many powders because I have oily skin, so I'm gonna set my foundation, right? But this one I feel like would work for a variety of skin types. If you have normal skin, dry skin, oily skin, combination skin, she's good, all right? So this is the Cloud Set Powder from Kosas. The shade I use is Pillowy. Oh, did I tell you my shade in the Gucci? It is 360W if you use me for a shade match. And then from Makeup Forever, I use 3Y56, and I think it's 4Y50. I don't know where that one is right now. I think I put it in my travel makeup bag, and I can't find it. But anyway, all right, the Kosas powder is pillowy. I love this powder. I'm wearing it right now. I'm wearing it right now, and this is over what foundation that I put on. I think I just used concealer if I'm honest. Yeah, I just used concealer, which was the Fenty Concealer. Love it. Another brand that goes on sale all the time, you can get 25% off. So don't shop Fenty during this sale. Wait for Fenty to have their sale, okay? But this Kosas powder, 
it's so beautiful it's very light coverage okay so don't expect it to give you coverage like the makeup forever foundation powder this is an actual foundation powder so it's going to give you coverage this is just like a finishing setting powder but it doesn't set your skin and extend the wear of your foundation per se okay it will mattify a little bit but it leaves your skin looking very natural so it's not like a full-on matte even though on my skin it does mattify and you can use it in you know precise areas so if you have normal skin or maybe you have dry skin and you just want to set your t-zone where you know you'll get shiny just set that and you can layer this and layer it and it's so light and airy that it doesn't look cakey ever okay so this powder i highly recommend and i've seen people with dry skin really enjoy this as well so this is just an all-arounder i think it's fantastic and look look let me show you let me prove to you how much i love this powder that's the powder at the end of its life okay this is a brand new one <laughs> i bought one during the last sale so this is it new and this is it down for the count, all right? I'm trying to finish up like the edges of it, but that's how much I love that powder. It's one that I've actually used up. I don't use makeup up that quickly, okay, or ever, okay? <laughs> Brow pencil, sure, mascara, sure, but powders and blushes, I don't go through those products, so that should tell you something, all right? Speaking of powders, let's continue with some loose powders. Amicole. If you don't shop anything else from this sale, shop Amicole. It's a black owned brand, but not only that, they have some fantastic products and I have a couple products to recommend from this brand, okay? Starting with the loose powders. If you're a loose powder person, these are fantastic. They have a few shades to try out. They have a translucent that actually works on my skin tone. So if you want a translucent powder, this will work. It won't give you that white cast or flashback. It's great. It will lighten up your foundation a little bit, but it's not going to be extreme, right? It's not going to have that cast. Fantastic. And they have a deep medium, which is like a banana powder, but it's not yellow, yellow, you know? It's only slight yellow and I did a full video on this I love this powder it doesn't look yellow on your skin it just adds a little bit of warmth so if you have a golden undertone fantastic they have a deep as well and I think there's also like another light powder it's fantastic these powders they're smooth they're airy they finish the skin really beautifully and they don't look dry at all love them now if if you want something that's gonna mattify and set your face down to okay it doesn't move budge anything one size okay and <laughs> I don't necessarily like the creator of this brand who is Patrick Starr I don't necessarily like them but I like some of the products but these products are gonna be long wearing hardcore bulletproof pigmented products his line is just full on like bulletproof makeup okay and this powder is bulletproof if you have a long day ahead and you need your makeup to stay on this powder i use the translucent one and i have a travel size of this as well and this is i mean come on you get so much product i use this to set my under eyes because under my eyes my concealer will crease and all that stuff this powder sets it down and if I'm wearing like a really shiny dewy foundation like a luminous finish and I'm like you know what I like how this foundation feels but I want to set it and forget it this is the powder that I would go for so highly recommend this powder if you're looking for a set it and forget it if you don't like that matte finish just stay away from that powder don't even don't okay just don't oh I forgot to tell you about this foundation the Sephora Best Skin Ever Foundation. How could I forget this? Again, Sephora brand is 30% off. This foundation is excellent. I use 35N. I love this foundation. It is a nice everyday foundation. It has a very natural finish. It is long wearing. It doesn't have the claims of being like transfer proof and all that, but it wears a really long time. 
it has a beautiful finish and they have a great shade range okay they have neutral yellow red undertones they have like the gamut of shades from very light to very deep and it's 30 percent off and it's not a bad price point because i think it's in the 20 dollar range so you're already getting a good price point and for 20 percent off this is a good one for every day and the matching concealer the best skin ever is one of my most used concealers i love this so if you wanted to grab a perfect a perfect complexion duo okay i'm just saying but especially the concealer the concealer i also have 35 n it's so good it is so so good so it's creamy without being too emollient without being too dewy but it's not dry it's not like matte matte you know it's such a good concealer and the coverage is excellent and you can wear it all over you can share it out you can do all the above it's fantastic i love this concealer i also love the fenty concealer but i feel like the fenty get it during the fenty sale the shade i use for fenty is 385 and i already have a backup because this one i pulled the stopper out this is how you know I love something, okay, when it's almost used up. This is another product that I'm using up, so you know I love it. So definitely recommend that. Another one that I recommend, and I feel like they're doing away with this line. I don't know what's going on at Swart, okay, it's Swart. They have this Tarte C Power Flex. They had like the Amazonian line, but I feel like they replaced it with the Tarte C line. I don't know, either way, this concealer is fantastic. I use... 48N, which is tan deep neutral. This is a good concealer as well. It's a little bit creamier, a little bit more moisturizing or hydrating, I should say, than the Sephora one, and it has beautiful coverage. This is for when I feel like I want a little bit more cush to my concealer. Like I want it to be a little bit more hydrating, you know? Maybe I'm feeling dry that day under the eyes. This is a great one. I love this as well. I hope they are not discontinuing the line, but if they are, maybe you'll get an added discount on a sales price. So there you go for concealers. I'm not even getting into like other concealers because those are top of the line, the ones I would highly recommend. All right, let's continue with the powders, all right? Bronzers. For the bronzers, I'm gonna go with House Labs. House Labs, stop playing with me. If you have not tried House Labs, what are you doing, first of all? But second of all, try their powders. There's just something about their powder formulation that I can't get over. It's like they're velvety, they're so smooth, they are excellent. Oh my god, and they call it a velvet bronzer, the Power Sculpt Velvet Bronzer. I use Deep Level 9. This is such a good bronzer, and I've used this so much since I got it, and I love the packaging. These are expensive, so get them on sale. And I don't know that House Labs does sales that often. I haven't checked them out like to see, but I don't think they do sales that often. So if you can get 20%, 15% off, it might be worth checking out. Because again, they're expensive. This is like $38, so it's like steep, steep, steep. But it's so good. And I can see myself going through this bronzer because it's a bronzer that I use consistently. It's so good. And then another bronzer that I fell in love with last year is the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. Another brand that doesn't necessarily go on sale all the time. And if they do, you get like 20% max off. This is the Sunkiss Glow Bronzer. Is that what it's called? It's their cream bronzer, okay? I use the shade tan. This is such a good cream bronzer and here's the other thing that I can vouch for with this bronzer. It is long lasting even though it's a cream, even though it's in a compact like this and you think it would dry out quickly, it does not. I'm wearing it right now if you see any bronze on my skin. I did a little light bronzing. This is what I use and I will be using this for the summertime. This is so good. It is pigmented though I will say so if you have darker richer skin. This is probably a great one because it has the power behind it, like the pigment punch. It's so good, but it blends out so nicely and it looks so seamless on the skin, which is what I really like, because you can't tell. You're like, is she wearing bronzer? Yeah, because my hairline looked a little stark against like, you know, the rest of my skin and then bronze just a little bit and you can't tell. It looks so natural on the skin. So I really love this. And again, I've had it now 
almost a year and it's still going strong. So I love, love, love that cream bronzer. Absolutely love it. And for blushes, I have a few brands that I want to mention. Let's start out with the cream one. Let's start out with the cream one. Danessa Myricks. These are the new Yummy Skin... Is that what they're called? The Yummy Skin Cream Bronzers? These are so good. These are so good. They pack a punch though. A little goes a long way, but they're easy to blend out. You can overdo it though if you have like really pale skin. I've seen it done. But if you have tan skin, this is going to be great for you, okay? All the colors are going to work. That's the thing. All the colors will work because even though there are lighter shades that are recommended for lighter skin, these will work for medium tan skin. Like this, this the full shade range is going to work. On deeper skin, stick to the deeper shades. On, on lighter skin, stick to the lighter shades, okay? Because again, they pack a punch. So on light skin, you have to be a little bit more light-handed. But little goes a long way. It blends beautifully and it gives beautiful impact on the skin. The one that I have here is Jubilee. This is such a beautiful, like, everyday color. It's just like, you know, a little bit of a, I don't know how to describe it, like a rosy mmm this is an interesting shade like I want to say it's like a rosy tan it kind of is a rosy tan but it has a little peach to it as well and the formulation I mean it's so good and it layers over powder and doesn't get crepey it goes on really well without lifting the rest of your product it's just it's so good okay and they have so many beautiful shades to choose from I really love this and if you're a blush layerer you love these here's the thing I kind of have to layer blush if I really want it to stay because my face my skin my cheeks eat blush like put a color on it's gone like where'd it go I don't know so I'll put a cream layer on and then a powder this works perfect for that so love it love it love it love it and the blush I was wearing in the beginning I want to mention is Too Faced I know Too Faced of all things I know another brand that has a lot of sales okay 25% off 30% off can you wait can you hold out or do you want this now so these are their Cloud Crush Blurring Blushes Tequila Sunset is the one I was wearing still am wearing and this I can vouch for as well it stays on my skin that's a problem that I have and these smell really nice it's just like a sweet Hmm, it's just like a light sweet I would say like a fruity scent yeah it smells nice it's a nice blurring finish it looks good on the cheeks and the color is there initially when I bought this blush and swatched it I was like oh that's gonna be too light now it does show up on my skin it's a beautiful color it's not overly pigmented on light skin it does look a little bit intense but on me it's just a beautiful color and I also got the shade watermelon P rain I almost said pain child this one's a little bit punchy okay it's a little intense be light-handed but it does blur and give this beautiful finish to the skin so these Too Faced blushes are actually pretty excellent so I really like them and then of course I'm going to mention the house labs blushes no these are the highlighters stop pause hold up these are the blushes these just launched. Let me tell you something, okay? Let me tell you something. These are amazing. I love these so much. Again, they're very pricey, but this formulation, you have to. Let me tell you, you have to. Like the bronzer, the blush, the highlighter. House Labs, great. Like they're so stellar. And the fact that I still enjoy them after like the initial launch goes to show, okay? If I keep using a product, you know I'm really into it. So these House Labs blushes, Try a shade light. Look at this one. This one is Watermelon Bliss. I love a watermelon shade. I don't want to put on any more blush. I'm not, <gasps> I'm not that person. Like, you see me now, I'm over blushed. I'm over blushed, oh my god. But this is so pretty. These shades are gorgeous. They have, like, a great variety. And again, I picked up all the shades, and all of them work. Even the lighter shades, they still pick up on my cheeks. I can wear them for, like, a subtle flush. Absolutely stunning done in and then of course the highlighters again I'll mention the shade I prefer out of the whole range is golden pyrite but I have 
the majority of the shades i know some of them aren't really highlighters for me they're more like blush toppers because they're richer deeper shades but the shade i would recommend for my skin is golden pyrite this is so smooth and beautiful now the trick about these highlighters is that some of them are more sparkly than others it's not glittery it's just there's more sparkle to them like this one is fire opal another stunning one like look looky look like come on it's like a fire opal shade it's really beautiful but this has more shimmer particles than the golden pyrite which is more like seamless with my skin and more smooth so depending on what you're going for i prefer golden pyrite because it is so smooth but fire opal is kind of fire as well and if i want a little extra i'll go for the the fire opal but my my preference like look how just you know it looks seamless again it's something that i love about these powders they look very seamless on the skin all right let's go back to blush because there's another blush that i want to mention valentino i'm gonna keep recommending these every time okay i've been recommending these since day one a great time to pick them up during the sale because valentino doesn't really have sales these are the eye to cheek dual use blush and shadows you can use them on the eyes or on the cheeks i have like the majority of the shades except for the ones that are just too light these are so good all right my favorite shade is number four well is it my favorite it's one of my favorites this one is a very subtle color it's really beautiful it's stunning on the cheeks the formula is really smooth some of them have a little glow to them though no, this one Number six is my favorite because it's the most used. This is such a subtle, like, peachy pink. It's so good. And again, you look at these shades and you're like, those are not going to show up. Yeah, they are. And they're stunning. This is number seven, which is like a more apricot shade. And then they have more shimmery shades. Where am I shimmery shade at? Is it this one, number six? No. All of them, I didn't take out the shimmery one. But they even have shimmery shades that look beautiful on the skin. So absolutely recommend the valentino eyes to cheek just treat yourself to one you don't need all of them treat yourself to just one all right let's move on to mascara the one i'm gonna recommend i already told you i'm gonna recommend a lot from this brand this is a Mikole, their mascara it's what i'm wearing right now and it's such a great mascara for every day and it really amps up your lashes like it's comfortable, it washes off easily, but it really adds like volume, lift, and just richness to your lashes because it's such a great black formula. And the brush is a really comfortable brush. It's small, so you can use it for smaller eyes. It's not oversized. It's so good. It is so good. I love this mascara, hands down. One of the best mascaras I've tried in a while. And I fall in love with mascaras all the time, all right? But that one, I'll say, top notch, love it so much. I really love that mascara. Let's now finish up with lips. I know I didn't mention any eyeshadow palettes because I don't really have one that I can say, yeah, go get this. Eyeshadow palettes to me are very personal, right? If you like the color story and you like the brand and all this stuff, but no eyeshadow palette like really sticks out to me where I'm like, yeah, go get this. I'm more into indie brand palettes. So there are no eyeshadow palettes that I'm going to recommend. All right. If you like one, good for you. You know, go get it. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, I really don't know if there's a eyeshadow palette that I want to recommend. So we're just going to go straight into lips. Let's go back to the same brand, Amico Le. These lip oils, they're called lip oils, right? Amico Le Lip Treatment Oils. These are really like glosses. I'm wearing one right now. I'm wearing this shade, the brown one, which is excellent. This is the signature shade that they started out with. It is so fantastic, okay? It's this beautiful, cushy, thin gloss. It's not really an oil, okay? I feel like brands are calling their lip oils lip oils, but they're not really lip oils because it's like a hybrid between a gloss and an oil. So it's not, it's just this really cushy, comfortable formula and it looks so good. It's so glossy. It's so beautiful. It's long wear and it doesn't do that little white rim. It's so good. And this brown looks so good on like a variety of skin tones. I hands down love it. My favorite shade is the pink one. 
and I'm gonna have to buy it back because I don't know where it, I don't know where it is I lost it like I literally lost it because I put it in a bag and I probably took it out with me and I don't know which bag it is I'm probably gonna find it at some point but I'm repurchasing it okay I'm getting it again because I love it that much and the Claire one is also like just a, a signature everyday thing because you can use this with anything right I'm low-key no I'm not going to do it I was gonna say I'm gonna get a backup no don't do backups by the time I'm I've used this up another sale will come around but this is fantastic okay and you can get the set on their website as well for a discount but the clear the pink and the brown and I'm also gonna pick up the new shade which is like this watermelon shade excuse me give me all the shades I love this formulation it is so good <sighs> I'm so in love all right lips 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 we're continuing right these Dior lipsticks if you're looking for a matte formula long lasting like budge proof smudge proof like it wears like nobody's business the Dior lipsticks listen they're fantastic I did a full video swatching out the shades that I picked up they're so good they're so good 400 is this dark brown I have some reds I have some nudes so good I love them I love them I absolutely love them I have all the shades that I want so I'm not gonna pick anything else up but I would recommend those hands down and another one is hourglass hourglass also had a sale leading up to the Sephora sale they did 20% off so you might look out and get hourglass at 20% off but these are their unlocked lipsticks this newly launched fantastic again I did a video showcasing these these are so good but they're pricey right so you want to get a discount I tried out like a bunch of the nude shades they're so comfortable they're so mushy and cushy they're really like they're really nice lipsticks and they have a ton of neutral shades you can find your favorite nude and rock with it because these are good I really love these as well I'm going to pick up they have this new coral shade that I want to get because again it is it it's stunning okay and I love the formula it's lightweight it's comfortable it's moisturizing it feels good on the lips and the packaging is really cute so I really I really love those and I will finish up is that everything yes I'm gonna finish up on lip liners one size one size released lip liners these are the precision lip filler pencils they're not like plumping or anything these are good I'm wearing these now this is rent due this is the perfect new lip pencil for me all right it, I don't I don't know many people that would use me as a lip liner reference but this matches my lip line so well it would work with any nude that I have it's like this cinnamon nude shade so good I love it and then the dark brown that I have from them is the shade you know go tell me coin collector these aren't even pricey either they're wood pencils that you do have to sharpen them they're so good they're so good I'm telling you right now Patrick Star kind of knows what he's doing and I appreciate I appreciate I don't love everything from the line but when I love something it's good so love the lip pencils and then Huda Beauty Uder I know people try to correct me when I pronounce her name I think it's supposed to be Huda or is it Huda I don't know Huda I say Huda fight me I don't know <laughs> but her lip contour 2.0 pencils really good and this one I fell in love with because I saw it used on JT during fashion week in uh, Paris I think it was in Paris was it Paris I don't know the shade is rich brown I love it it's so good it is such a good pencil oh my god these are twist up instead of wooden pencils but they have like a built-in sharpener so you can like sharpen up the tip so it's a little bit more precise these actually last too. Twist up pencils I don't prefer because they dry out really quickly, but these actually last. I have a couple others from her from like over a year now and they haven't dried out. So you can refresh these pretty quickly. So that's the shade I love that I would recommend. I think the Rare Beauty pencil is also really good, but those are the ones that like really stand out to me. And I have other recommendations from other brands that I've given before. But these are the products that stand out to me right now again they're no eyeshadow palettes because I don't I don't have one I kind of am looking at myself and I'm like that is a lot of blush this is not my 
This is not me. I'm not a blushy person. I do love blush, but I don't blush this much, like. <laughs> but, you know, I've mentioned so many blushes, so I obviously do love them. I do have one honorable mention that I think I already had one with the primer from Gucci, but I have another one. Hear me out, okay? This is a polarizing product. It is from Kosas. It is the Glow IV Vitamin Infused Skin Enhancer. People hate this. <laughs> and I seem to be one of the only people that like this a lot. Here's the thing, the light shades are just glitter bombs, okay? They're very glittery. Any shade before this one, glitter bomb, all right? But this shade, this is Recharge, which is sheer deep tan. I have been using this so much. And if you know me, you know I don't do like highlighter like that. You know I don't do glowy primers. You know this. But this somehow has reeled me in. Okay, it's reeled me in. It's so good. And I feel like I like it because it's giving me dry oil vibes again. Remember when I mentioned with the primer that it feels like a lotion, but it's like a dry lotion. So this is like, a version of that dry oil shimmery primer does that make sense it's like one of those products it's a liquid illuminator it doesn't really tout itself as a primer or a highlighter you can use it however okay you can mix it in with foundation you can use it as a spot highlighter you can use it as a primer you can just use it however you see fit okay this guy is so glowy and beautiful without being shimmery or glittery or overwhelming let me show you. So remember that House Labs highlighter that I showed you? How it just looks seamless? Same thing here. It just looks seamless. And what I love about this is it dries down. And it's, you see how moist my hand looks? It's not glitter, like there's no glitter. You can't even tell there's product on me. It's like this shade was made for me. It just works on my skin, it can work over like foundation but I prefer it under foundation and I put it on my cheeks and it gives me this lit from within glow under my foundation yet it stands out under my foundation it still glows and that I find very impressive it has impressed me so much that it has me low-key willing to try other shimmery primers not that I don't already have them in my collection but I haven't really used them like I've been so nervous about them but this one has inspired me to use them more. So I have the Auric Glow Lust that I'm gonna put to use now that like I feel a little bit more comfortable with this kind of glowy product. So I am going to use that a lot more, okay? But this, I'm telling you, it's pricey too. I think it's like, is it 38 or like 42? It's within that price range. So it's pricey, so if you can get it on sale, definitely do, all right? Let me run through my wish list really, really quickly because there are a few products I want to pick up, but it's not too expensive. So let me just share them with you really quickly. I'm not going to get into too many details. I mentioned the Hourglass Unlock Satin Cream Lipstick. We already mentioned these that I recommend them. I am going to get the shade Reef 320, which is Coral Pink. I love the formula, so I'm picking up that shade. No explanation needed. The Pat McGrath New Powder Bronzer. I want to try it. I want to try it. I don't like her blushes. I don't want her highlighters, but I want that bronzer. I just want to try it for science. So I'm going to test that out. I think the shade I'm going to get is warm golden bronze. It doesn't seem to have high reviews. So I want to try it for myself if for nothing else, but actually test it out for you guys. There's also this Clarins lip comfort hydrating oil that I'm kind of thinking about. If you tried it, let me know, but it looks so juicy and lip oils have just been my thing lately. So I kind of want to try it, but I don't know. That one's kind of iffy for me, all right? The Valentino, Very Valentino Hydrating Concealer. I love the foundation. Well, I don't like love the foundation, but I like the foundation enough that I want to try the concealer. And it's not as pricey as I thought it would be. It's $35, but it seemed to be out of my shade match. So I'm watching Sephora to see what they're going on with. But I think I'm going to get that. There's also this, Jis is it Jisoo or Gisu? 
this honey infused lip oil you tell me honey infused lip oil Ex what like that's what you say to me i want it i want it simply because i'm obsessed with lip oils and i want it i want it so bad we also have this lawless forget the filler overnight lip plumping mask i love the lip plumping gloss i love it so i want that lip balm i want it i want it it's a lip mask i would wear it as a lip balm and they have different shades i want to try it and it's not too pricey it's 22 dollars. i'm gonna try it i'm gonna try it we have the makeup by mario moisture glow plumping lip colors these don't seem to be getting good reviews either but i love the actual balm you know the twist up tube so i want to try these i want to try these i might pick up a couple of shades to try these out we're gonna see but I i'm excited because i do love the balm so much so I, I just think these are gonna be good i don't know there's also this new give by gwen stefani paint it up clean 24 hour cream shadow i want the shade bounce in shoes which is a matte warm brown because I tried it in store, okay, I swatched it and I was like, oh my god, this would make a perfect like one and done shade for my eyelids. It's so beautiful, it's just my skin tone, it would give me a beautiful wash of color and it's like one and done. So I want to get that, okay, so I'm going to try it out. It's new again from Gwen Stefani. I want it, I want it. And then I mentioned the Amicole lip oil, I need the pink one because I lost it, I don't know where it is. And then they have this bright pink one, which is a new shade. They also have their new cream blush and lip multi stick. So this is a twist up like cream blush stick. You can also use it on your lips. I'm not going to do that, but I want to try it. This is a new launch from them. And I, I don't have high hopes and I'll tell you why they look very glowy and I don't like glowy cheeks. I want to apply my glow. However, I want to, I want like a very controlled shine, right? I, I like to be precise with my highlighting and my glow, but I want to try it. So I'm going to try out one of the shades. Again, this brand is like really stellar and that's everything. Other than that, I'm picking up my shampoo and conditioner from Kara Stars. That's it. That's it. This is just a repurchase for me. I'm running low, so it's a great time to pick it up because the shampoo itself, child, is $40, okay? $40, and I'm running through that too fast. And then the mask that I use, which is also from Kara Stars, is $63. And I need the mask because I have bleached hair. It's damaged. It's dry. So I do need to repair it a little bit and this has been really great. My hairdresser that did my Brazilian smoothing treatment, she recommended this line and I love it. So those are all the things that I have on my list. Not a ton, okay? Lip oils are obviously my fascination and then <laughs> I also, yeah, it's lip products. It's all lip products because I love lip products, okay? They're the one concealer that I want to try. There are no other foundations on my list. There are no other powders, no blushes. You see, my list is very limited. At least to me, you might think it's outlandish, but it is what it is. Like I said, this sale doesn't excite me as much. I'm picking up some staples and some new products that I want to try that I would have picked up to try on my channel anyway, so it's a good time to get them on discount. The Makeup by Mario I was going to get, the Pat McGrath I was going to get, and the Amico Lea I was going to get. So it's like a good time to get them on sale. So there you have it, guys. Those are my recommendations. Are you shopping the sale? What are you getting? Like, what are you really interested in? Are you trying to limit yourself? Because like I said, don't just shop because there's a sale you think you're saving money. No, you're actually spending money. Like you're legit spending money. So you're not saving anything. But if there was something on your list and you were holding out, because I was holding out. The Makeup by Mario and the Pat McGrath and even the Amico Lay launched weeks ago. I could have purchased them, but I just held out. And I haven't purchased anything leading up to the sale. So I'm actually feeling good about that you know and i want to know like what's your vibe like what's going on with you guys i haven't like felt the itch or the urge to buy a lot of products which i'm actually really happy about because i don't need to be buying too much okay i need to be using my collection and so that's what i'm getting into but like let me know what are you what are you guys thinking like how are you feeling about the sale how are you feeling about makeup lately are you as excited about the sale as we used to be back in the day remember when we used to go like berserk and make these full lists of what we're gonna pick up and i think the height of consumerism in the beauty community here on youtube and on social media 
has kind of faded a little bit it's kind of tapered off is that just me or am I just getting older and wiser and the new generation is still like buying massive amounts of product I don't think they are because I didn't I think Gen Z is a little bit more discerning what do you guys think because we used to have massive haul videos all the time even I used to do massive haul videos and I don't do them anymore I do haul videos from time to time and I pick up like enough products to share but like massive haul videos aren't being shared anymore these huge pure unboxings are happening I don't know like it's a different vibe and I like it I like it we're using our products and enjoying them if there's a new launch that we want to talk about we do talk about but like we're not as like gung-ho as before and I love that for us. So let me know if you're shopping the sale, what you're picking up, what you're excited about, what are you trying out. I will leave links to all these products down below in the description box that I personally recommend and mentioned in this video. There will be asterisks next to those links, okay? That means it is an affiliate link. That means I will get a small sales commission if you make a purchase through those links. It's a great way to show your support for the channel. So if you do shop the sale, please use my links. It doesn't change the sale price. It just gives me a kickback. So you're kind of supporting me while still supporting your shopping habits. I'm just saying, all right, if you wanted to use my links, I really, truly appreciate it. I will also leave links to my Instagram and Twitter where you can be following me along. And until my next video, which hopefully will be very soon, I don't know how it's gonna go because I am traveling for business next week and I don't know how much time I'm gonna have but I will try to have content consistently going up throughout the week so you won't miss me too much. So until my next video which hopefully will be very soon, I'll talk to you. Bye guys!